What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. It's Casey with All Things Fishing. Today I've got a little bit different of a video. Um, if you guys ever looked at my description, you'll see deep in it, it says if you're into spear fishing, you might like this channel. So I've been spear fishing for quite a while, um, probably five or six years, and I have never posted a single thing about spearfishing on my channel. But today, that changes. So I'm, I plan to get into more reviews on guns, uh, dive gear, and of course, filming dives. Before, I didn't really have a way to get a camera mounted to my mask, but that's been solved. So nonetheless, today what I've got is a spear gun review. And what I'm gonna be reviewing is the Cressy Moicano which is like the first spear gun I ever got and I ever dove with. And I think it's a good little gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and show you guys my overall and opinion on the whole gun and everything. Stay tuned. All right guys, well here it is, the Cressy Moicano. This is the 75 centimeter model. Um, so as you can see, mine's not stock. I do have a vertical reel on this gun. Uh, that's just basically to help with line management in the event that a uh, fish takes a little bit of drag or just, to, you know, just another way to get a little extra distance if I wanted to make some extra wraps. Stock, it came with a, uh, a cable that was routed through, had some crimps on it and stuff like that. I've swapped that out for Kevlar line in the reel. So starting at the back here, We've got that comfortable grip. This has got a really nice ergonomic grip. Um, super comfortable in the palm, it fits well. Uh, safety, of course. Small little loading pad on the back. Um, this gun is more of a inshore kind of gun. I think they make it up to a, a maybe a 90 or a 110, but generally I would say that it's, it's closer to an, an inshore kind of gun. Um, for us, we're shooting mainly, uh, you know, calicos, lots of surf perch, uh, sargos, stuff like that. Um, croaker, corbina, just, you know, species like that, it's perfect for. Mainly the bass, too. And as we move down to the front, first off, let's, let's peep this, um, this camo kind of print they've got on here. This is super nice stuff, really durable. You know, I've had this gun since I've started diving and it's flawless. There's, there's still, you know, next to no scratches or anything in it. So it's really durable and you know, that's, that's nice. Keeps it looking good. So as we move to the front right here, it's a closed muzzle, as you can see. Kind of a bummer, it makes loading a little harder, but it does help the accuracy big time. This gun is super accurate, guys. Um, I've tested it in the pool with foam targets, uh, of course, just out in the ocean, and man, be, be stone and fish days with this. So, closed muzzle, and as you can see, this hole right here, this is actually a nice little feature that Cressy gives you. It's a second band option. Uh, bands, I think, are 16 millimeter bands. That's the diameter and you can throw that second band right in here. It'd be a soft band with a, um, you know, kind of like a, a little spectra wishbone or something you'd have to make up. Or you can, I'm sure you could buy them. But um, over here we've got the articulated kind of wishbone. More durable, but um, I think spectra is kind of the way to go for wishbones. Either, either way. Um, so you got that second band option that's gonna add significant more power, a little bit more distance to this gun, and um, yeah, just help you go for some bigger fish in general. The shaft is a really nice shaft. As you can see, it's got the second groove there for that second band, and um, it's just got a standard flopper on it. No slip tip, unfortunately, but these floppers do pretty good, and it's got the kind of pencil tip kind of head nice and sharp so you know that's overall that's I would say that's good on a gun like this you really don't need a slip tip either 
but um, they're always nice to have. Let's see, anything else? The trigger mechanism is pretty smooth. Um, I've only had a few issues with this not like, you know, getting wrapped up right. So this is what the end of the shaft looks like. Goes into the trigger mechanism and you've got your line release down here. The line release is plastic, which I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it kind of gets, um, you know, gummed up a little bit, you know, warped. I actually had to cut mine because it wasn't releasing the line properly with this reel in the way. It's getting caught up. But um, the trigger is really smooth. When you fire it, it's got a, it's got a nice draw and stuff like that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Not much to be said, but a great gun. It's light. It's stealthy. Great inshore gun. I would recommend it to anybody who's looking, especially on the West Coast, to dive in the kelp fields, uh, inshore stuff, and put that second band on there. Maybe, just maybe, get yourself a white sea bass. I don't know though, don't quote me on that. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that quick little spear gun review. Um, be on the lookout for more of these. I do have a project spear gun that I have been working on and it's just about done and ready for a good review. So stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for dive videos. It's summer, I'll be here for a while and I plan to get out there and do some spear fishing and record it. So looking forward to that and seeing that footage. But anyways, Cressy Moicano, great gun, great inshore gun. Got that second band option and it's super accurate. So for the price point, I think it was about 180. That's not bad guys. So anyways. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.